Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to save countless hours when you're optimizing your site for mobile in Webflow. Here we go. Okay, so this is probably my least favorite part about building websites, and that is when you finally have your desktop website built, and it's gorgeous and pristine and perfect, and you've put hours and sometimes weeks and months into the process, it's finally done. And then you have to basically do it all over again across different breakpoints, whether it's on tablet or mobile, and you have to optimize every little pixel again. It is so arduous. But the good news is this. I have put together a list of five tips and tricks that I have learned over the years that now I use to save hours and hours of time every time I'm optimizing my site for mobile in Webflow. So without further ado, let me tell you what these tricks are. All right, so the first pointer I'm going to give you that you need to use every time you're optimizing your site for mobile is you need to use classes to save yourself time. All right, so what does this mean? Let's look at some examples. I have two boxes here, okay? In my left box, I have two headings with different classes and two paragraphs with no class, okay? And in my right box, I have two headings that share the same class and two paragraphs that also share the same class. So let's pretend I'm optimizing these two boxes for my mobile breakpoint. So we'll go to mobile and I'll just show you what happens to our no class box. So I need to bump this text probably down a little bit for my mobile view. So I'll just come in here and I'll just drop the text down to 30 picks. And I'll drop the paragraph down here to 14 pixels, okay? The problem is, as you can see, these have not changed. So I'm gonna have to go in to every single heading at every different breakpoint across my site and update every element like this. It's gonna take forever. You don't wanna do this. The key to really speeding up your mobile optimization of your site across different breakpoints is to share classes as you can see with box two. So for example, I need to drop this down, the heading, and they both drop down. Both headings drop down at the same time. Same thing with the paragraphs. I'm gonna drop this down to 14 pixels and they both drop down at the same time. This is absolutely crucial because for big, large websites, you're gonna have similar text across all the different pages of your website. And if you have to go into every page and update each element individually, you're gonna lose hours and hours of time. But if you can use classes to bulk style your elements across different pages of your website, then the time you spend optimizing your site across different breakpoints will decrease substantially. This is a major key. All right, so let's move on to the second tip. The second tip that you can use to streamline the optimization of your site across different breakpoints is to use the horizontal and vertical flexbox options. What do I mean by this? Well, let me show you. So as you can see right here on my desktop breakpoint, I have three cards and it looks very good. It looks clean. I like it. But when I come into my mobile view, my mobile breakpoint, you can see these three cards are basically hanging off the screen. It looks horrible. It's too skinny, it's too narrow, it looks gross. Now, what you could do is you could come in here and this is what I did when I started. I started just playing around with each of these cards and messing with their margin, their padding, trying to get it all lined up. But what you can do instead, and this is the tip, is to come in here to our container that we have flexed horizontally the container holding our cards and just change it to flex vertical. And as you can see, the cards just line up perfectly right down the page and it looks beautiful. Now, when you come back to your desktop, the cards are still aligned horizontally. But when you come down to mobile, you can see they hold their vertical flex box alignment. So do not manually play around with your cards on the mobile site use the power of Flexbox directional layouts to streamline the optimization of your site across different breakpoints. All right, so tip number three is to use your display none button to clean up your mobile view. Let me show you what I mean. So here, I have a section here where I have three different pictures on top of each other, and it looks really good, again, on the desktop breakpoint. But when I go to my mobile breakpoint, you can see that it's kind of ugly. Like the bears are just, the, the picture of the bears just isn't working there. It's just kind of too close. You can't see all of it. It's awkwardly set. A lot of the times when you're optimizing for mobile, you'll run into this problem where you just can't get an element to look good on smaller screens. That's okay. I used to fight it. I used to wrestle it and try to make it all fit. But sometimes it really is better 
to just hide the element altogether and move on. Instead of wrestling with it and still playing with it for so long, just get rid of it. Sometimes it looks just as fine on mobile. So how would I do this? Well, I'd come into my section, I'd choose the image, and I'd just, for my mobile class, just hit hide. And at that point, it finally starts to look a little cleaner. Obviously, I need to like bump this text down some, but the bears are gone and it looks a lot better. So don't be scared to hide different elements on your page that just aren't working on smaller screens. All right, so tip number four is to optimize your site at the smallest width at each different device's breakpoint. What does this mean? Well, as you can see in Webflow, we have these different like default breakpoints for our different devices. So we have tablet, mobile landscape, and just normal mobile. The problem I found in the past is like for mobile landscape, for example, this default value is not as small as you can go for mobile landscape. So if you grab this little tab here and slide, you can actually see the different devices that pop up or that you're optimizing for at the different pixel widths. So what I found really helps is to actually just go down to the smallest devices you can for the mobile landscape and optimize at that pixel width because otherwise, if I optimize out here at 600, it might look good, but as I drop down to 480 for these smaller mobile landscape devices, it might not look good. So I like optimizing up for each different device. So lowest to highest. Now obviously you don't need to do this for like, if I go to mobile and I go all the way down to 250 picks, my lowest option, you can see I'm optimizing for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I don't need to do that. I don't need to optimize for 250 picks. I'm not even gonna worry about 320 where it's just iPhone 5s and iPod touches. Those are lame. But I am gonna come up here to 360. You can see all the different phones you're optimizing on and that's the one I'm gonna optimize on for the mobile portrait. I'm gonna optimize at the smallest pixel width that kind of makes sense for me at the different devices. So 360 for mobile portrait, for mobile landscape, I'm probably gonna optimize down here at 480. And tablet, I'm gonna optimize at 768. And again, the reason I'm doing this is because if I optimize small, then when I make it bigger, normally the layout still works on that screen. But if I start high up here at 912 and I optimize for that, sometimes at my smaller tablet sizes, it does not work. Now finally, my fifth tip for you, when you're optimizing your site for different breakpoints is to use this preview button. This is the most helpful thing I have found in all of my time. Instead of having to publish your site every time onto a domain, refreshing and then actually dragging and pulling the window on your computer left and right to get different sizes, hit this little preview button, grab this tab here, and you can see how at every different breakpoint down to the pixel, your website will look. So just drag back and forth and you can see how it looks. This is absolutely critical when you're optimizing your site like this. All right guys, so that's it. That's how you can save yourself loads of time when you're optimizing your site across different breakpoints. If you like this video, please go down and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. If you wanna see more content like this in the future, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, go down in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all for being here. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.